Well, hey there, folks, and welcome to the Bubba Roundtree Outdoors channel. I am your host, Wade Rush. This is a quick, as quick as I can make it, BRO update, guys. A deer season came in September 1st, and this is our absolute busiest time of year. I ain't got time to turn around and see where I've been yet. Uh, things are going well. The channel is growing like crazy. We will probably cross 50,000 subscribers here in the early fall and we really appreciate that from you folks but what i'm gonna try to do here today is try to clear up some answer some questions that i get multiple times every day and i'm gonna try to get some of this stuff cleared up of what we can do on this channel of what we can't do on this channel and stuff like that y'all stand by Oh, quick, I had forgot to tell you guys about this before I got back in here to go back to work. Um, I've been down for a couple of weeks. I had a bad um, cellulitis infection in my right leg. That's what has been slowing a lot of things down with a lot of things around here on the channel. I haven't even been able to go get in a stand yet. We can uh, we can actually start using our doe tags and all that now. But, uh, but I have... Uh, been having a lot of problems with this. I was running a pretty high temperature and stuff like that. Had a lot of infection in my body and it has had me down for a couple of weeks. Uh, Doc got me on some real powerful antibiotics and these, this infection is really clearing up fast. I'm feeling better slowly, but I'm getting better every day uh, and stuff like that, guys. So appreciate the prayers and all that other stuff. And, uh, and things are trying to get back up to speed around here. Now let's continue. Uh, questions number one and number two are almost a dead heat. Wade, do you sell your buckshot? No, folks, I do not sell buckshot. I show you how to make it and uh, I'm not an ammo dealer. Uh, so let's just get past that already. Um, there's a lot of details that go with that that make it legal and illegal. There's just no way that I can sell ammo. I'm not an ammo dealer. Uh, a close second, Wade, I can't find reloading supplies. Will you sell me some of yours? Guys, I have the same problems you do in finding reloading supplies. You've got to stay on top of it. You've got to, um, the, the first thing you need to do is hook up with Buck and Slug Reloaders on Facebook. That is your number one, number one place to find 99% of your questions can get answered right there. And when these guys find reloading supplies available, they will give you a heads up right there on the page. I am a member over at Buck and Slug and I pop in there several times a day and try to answer as many questions as I can. And there are usually some outlying questions and I can't answer them all, but I do all that I can. I get hundreds of emails a day, and uh, it's almost impossible for me to get through all of this stuff. Uh, Bubba Roundtree Outdoors, that's me. I'm a one-man operation here at this channel. I'm a CEO, I'm editor, editor-in-chief. Anything you can think of that goes with this channel, that's me. I'm the only one that deals with this stuff. And like I said, we're going to cross 50,000 subscribers here in the early fall. So there's a, there's a lot of things that I just can't do. There's just a lot of questions that I just can't answer or have time to research out. Uh, case in point, over the years, I've been doing this a lot of years. And uh, it started out in 2007. I think it is whenever this channel went up and I've been reloading since 1976. Yes, yeah, since 1976. That's before a lot of you guys were born. A lot of you guys got me beat. Uh, we're loading a lot, uh, a lot longer before that time. Anyway, off subject, off topic. Uh, there's a lot, there's tons of new loaders and all that out there. And I think I've got close to 700 videos uploaded on my channel. That's right. 700 videos piles of them are reloading videos a lot of videos YouTube will not allow 
on YouTube. And so I have to put them on my Patreon page. If uh, I, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of content over on my Patreon page that is not on YouTube because I would get kicked off of YouTube if I put it on YouTube. See what I'm saying? Got to be real careful here when you're talking about firearms and reloading stuff and, and all that whenever you're dealing with the with the admin over at YouTube. You know how blue that is. Anyway, um, guys, what I'm saying is that that uh, me as a loader and as a YouTuber that puts this information out, that all of those years of experience and puts that information out there on YouTube, we don't, I can't give new loaders reloading intensive care. Um, I'm not a reloading encyclopedia, I, I guess is what I'm saying here. Uh, I, I love you guys. Let's, let's don't don't take any of this the wrong way. But like I said, I'm a one man operation here, and you guys wouldn't believe what my inbox looks like. And we just, I just don't have time with everything that I'm doing here to give reloading intensive care to folks. I just can't do it. All that information is available. It's available on my channel. All your questions are answered in a video on my channel. All of them are. Whenever I get these questions that I get every day, I make videos and I put them up on YouTube to answer those questions. That's why my videos, my loading videos can be 30 minutes long and not three minutes long. You get 30 minutes of information, and not three minutes of information. And a lot of folks want to watch three minutes of video in a 30 minute uh, time span of information and then ask 40 questions that are answered within the video. Okay, Wade, can we come hunt with y'all? Folks, we're not outfitters. Uh, you have to be outfitters to book people to come and hunt with you. We're not outfitters at all. We've got small pieces of property that we hunt. We're just like you. Uh, those that have to hunt public land or have small pieces of property to hunt, we're just like you guys. We just video it, and we just bring you guys along whenever we go. So it's, you can't book a hunt with us. We're not outfitters. Try to read this without my glasses on. That's fine. Oh. Wade, can we send you my reloaded ammo for you to test it? No, I do not do that. Um, that I make videos on how I load and how I do stuff so you guys can take your stuff out and, uh, and shoot it and test it. I can't take other folks' ammo in and then take it out and go test it. Most of you guys can understand why it would be impossible for me to try to do something like that. And a close second to that is, Wade, can we send our guns to you for you to pattern test them? Absolutely not, guys. I am not a gunsmith uh, or anything like that. I just show you how to do it, how I do it. And so, no, I cannot take stuff like that on. Uh, I don't have the time, nor am I set up with the kind of facilities and all that to do that kind of stuff. I'm sorry about that, but I just can't. Loads of folks want to know, Wade, can we come hunt with the dog club? What does it take? We want to come visit with the dog club. Our little small club that we, uh, that, that we have over here, I say we, guys, I'm not even a member of the club. Uh, I, I couldn't afford the dues to be uh, a member of this club. Uh, the guys over here are really, really kind to me. They wear a lot of cameras for me. I'm welcome to come hunt with them whenever whenever I want to, whenever I can. And I grew up with these guys. They're like more like my brothers than my friends. We all, we grew up together. And I, I get, are you take, uh, taking new members? Uh, what does it take to come visit? We're such a small club with small pieces of property and landowners are really, really concerned about liability issues and stuff like that. So things are just not like they used to be just a few years ago. So the club cannot just take outside visitors and stuff like that, like a lot of your big plantation clubs and all that do. The, the rabbit pen club is very small and really got to watch out for liability issues and stuff like that. So we just, we just can't do it, not in this day and age. 
And last but not least, Wade, do you ever load rifle ammunition? The answer is a resounding yes, I do. But I have got to be extremely careful what I post on YouTube. YouTube is already over the, the rule changes and all this other stuff that uh, we've been dealing with for the last few years on YouTube. They keep changing the rules. I've had videos that have been up for years that I had that were uh, that were up monetized in good standing with YouTube for years. Then all of a sudden they change their rules and now these videos are taboo and can get me a strike, get me in trouble and stuff like that. YouTube has already deleted several of those type of videos. I don't know what it is about the rifle and pistol reloading videos, but YouTube hates that stuff. They, they don't want to see it and they'll jump all over me if I post something like that on YouTube. All of that is posted on Patreon. That is the only place that I can post it and not get in trouble with it. If you wanna uh, join up with the Patreon page, it's only a dollar a month, $12 a year gets you full access to the Patreon page. It's, it's not real big stuff and, and things like that, but what it mainly is which with, a lot of, with a lot of this stuff, I get, this is every day. I, I get these questions every day. And I'm hoping that this will help a lot of you folks understand where I'm coming from with this and go ahead and answer these questions before I get them and stuff like that. We are a very small operation here. I'm a very, I'm, I'm an operation of one. I'm a very small operation here that has just had a channel to explode. Um, I share 45 years of reloading experience with all you folks out there just as much as I can in a free atmosphere environment until it starts costing me big time or, or getting me in trouble on YouTube and the last thing I want is to have my channel deleted off of YouTube after all these years of doing all this stuff for you guys on this channel to lose it over something like that where it is available the only place I can make it available is where it's invisible to everybody else